Peace, peace, peace. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. For those of you who don't know, it's your boy Vixen. I hope, and I got another video for y'all. And today we're going to be doing another law on the 48 Laws of Power. Today is law number 14. It's called Pose as a Friend, Work as a Spy. Let me read the judgment. It says, Knowing about your rival is critical. Use spies to gather valuable information that will help keep you a step ahead. Better still, play the spy yourself. In polite social encounters, learn to probe. Ask indirect questions to get people to reveal their weaknesses and intentions. There is no occasion that it is not an opportunity for artful spying. Now, a lot of people will come into your life and they will do this. Now, keep in mind, it says knowing your rival is critical. Now, a rivalry doesn't necessarily mean you got beef with somebody, right? It could just mean that you're in competition with somebody. You could be one CEO could be in a competition with another CEO and they're trying to compete to maybe get a, a big investment from, from a certain people or from the government or whatever it is. You know, they're trying to make money. So I'm gonna give you a few examples. I'm gonna give you an example in the streets, um, when people work as spies to kind of like do harm to people or do malicious things. And I'm gonna give you another example in how people try to get close to people and spy on them because they want to get next to them in in, in, a, in a beneficial way, right? So for example, when you go for a job interview, when you go for a job interview, what you usually do is this. If you're trying to work for a corporation or if you're trying to appeal to it, let's say you're having a meeting with the CEO and you're trying to appeal to this person to hire you or to go into business with you, what you usually do is you will kind of like look up this individual or you will look up the job, right? You will look up what like the, like the corporation or you will look up their goals or you will look up um, the success rate, you will look up maybe their mission statement, um, the future goals, you would look, you would just look them up. Basically, it's almost like spying, right? You look them up because you want to be able to have some type of conversation and talk about it. Same thing with the CEO. If you're trying to be cool with this business entrepreneur and you're trying to go into business with them or you're trying to get them to hire you or you're trying to, you know, have like a joint venture or, or invest together, then you usually look up information or you try to get, or you try to spy on them maybe on Instagram or maybe on their LinkedIn or however you can spy on them. You try to pose as a friend and get as enough information out of them because you want to use this to kind of like appeal to them. For example, um, I don't know if y'all watch Top Boy. And Top Boy, right, one of the bosses, he likes sweets, right? Um, one of the bosses, he likes sweets. So what they did was they got him a box. They got him like a little box of cookies or, or some sweets that he liked, right? And they pose as a friend, right? Um, I mentioned in the previous laws, when you give a generous gift to disarm people, when you give somebody a gift, they kind of like put their guards down. So it's kind of like the same thing, right? When you're posing as a friend and you don't, you don't have to be an enemy, but you're trying to get them to disarm their guards. So they gave this dude a gift. And this scenario, they actually did kill him. They were trying to kill him, right? Um, because he was being unreasonable. But the point is that because they gave him these cookies that he liked so much, it kind of like put his guard down to a certain extent. If that makes sense. Now, it's almost, which is almost similar to a concept in the hood. If you are in the hood, right, a lot of people, you notice a lot of conniving people in the hood, right? For example, they know where you live, but you don't know where they live. Um, they know how you make money, but you don't know how they make money. Or they know where you work, but you don't know where they work. They have all of these different tip, I mean, information they got all this different information about you, but you don't really know much about them. And this is some of the things that I used to fall for before when I was, you know, when I didn't know better, when I didn't know the game. So you have some people who come into your life and, you know, they act like they, they're your friends. They act like they're cool with you. They act like they got your best interests. But in reality, they're just gathering information to kind of like harm you with it. And, for example, when I had a situation and push came to shove, I didn't know where this dude lived, but he knew where I lived. I didn't know like the whereabouts and the moves of this dude, but he knew my moves and my whereabouts, right? So this individual had information about me that I didn't even have information that I didn't even have about him. So the whole time this dude was working as a spy and just collecting and gathering information just in case something happens. He probably was been plotting, right? But this is what people do. People do things. A lot of people are going to pose as your friend, either because they want to benefit from your, from your status or they just want to benefit, whatever your status is, right? Whether it's money, whether you got power, whether you get girls, whether whatever it is, right? They want to benefit from that. So a lot of people are going to pose like your friend, but they're not genuinely your friend. And some people will pose like your friend, but they're really trying to knock you off, right? You see this in the drug game a lot. Like dudes come in, they act like they want to make money with you. They act like they're your friend. 
and they really in competition to knock you off and steal your clientele. So you got to be very careful of the individuals that ask a lot of questions. And one of the things that they mentioned in this law is that when you're probing to spy on people and get information about their weaknesses and their strings and all of these different things, you just get them to talk a lot. And this is what you will notice some people, this is why they always tell you don't talk to the police. I said this in another video. The police, they're going to play good cop, bad cop. The good cop usually pose like a friend, right? He usually comes to you and say, I want to help you. Let me help you out. Let me, you know, help yourself. Let me help you help yourself. They, they, talk, they pose as a friend to get you to talk. And the moment you start talking, you, you put your foot in your mouth and they build a case against you. Most people go through this problem, right? Because they don't know how to shut up and keep their mouth closed. So the same thing happens when people are probing you and people are posing like your friend. You got some people who are going to ask you a thousand questions. And then, you know, they just keep asking you questions and like they just because they want you to talk and they want you to reveal some of the things that maybe you don't really want to reveal. And that's why it's very important sometimes to just shut up. Sometimes you got to you always if you don't remember anything about this video, remember this. Always let other people do more talking than you. This is something I struggle with because I like to talk a lot. But always let the other person do most of the talking. This way you save yourself. From saying something that perhaps could put your foot in your own mouth. So that's it, man. Um, the reversal of this, of course, is the same way that, you know, you spying on people or you trying to get close to people or you trying to get leverage on them. It's people doing the same thing to you. So it's very important to be mindful of who you let close to you and who you let in your vicinity and who you let know your next moves because those people can actually hurt you. So you got to be very mindful of who you're telling you. I don't tell people certain things that I do. I don't even really post pictures. I don't really post what I wear. I don't really post where I'm at. Like, I usually post things after I'm already there. Because, again, there's always somebody spying. And you don't know who it is and who it's going to come from. And, of course, I got my own spies myself. Everybody got their own spies, right? We all got to do what we got to do. Because we all got to keep leverage. So, yeah, I keep leverage. I know where some people live. <laughs> I got some people addresses. Not because I'm, I'm, I'm trying to initiate something. But you got to have some type of leverage if push comes to shove because I know people is plying on me and I know people are spying on me too. And I know if if, if push comes to shove and, and the foot was in, the, 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 the shoe was in the other foot, some people will probably take a shot or some people will probably try to do whatever they try to do. So you always got to be prepared um, for the people who, for your rivals and the people who are preying on your downfall. So let me know what y'all think. Like, comment, subscribe, share. Y'all be safe. Peace.